Texans get ready to experience speed and safety like never before. A high-speed bullet train is in the planning stages and will connect Dallas and Houston, two of the largest cities in the United States. With its state-of-the-art technology and unmatched speed, this railway system will take travel in the US to new heights. Imagine zooming past the Texas countryside at breakneck speeds, reaching your destination virtually in no time at all. The Tokaido Shinkansen bullet train is the future of transportation, and it's coming to Houston. Welcome back to our Build to Innovate channel, where we explore the world's most innovative building projects. Today, we will be looking at the highly anticipated bullet train that will be built to join the metropolitan cities of Dallas and Houston, Texas. The proposed Dallas-Houston bullet train is a highly anticipated high-speed rail project that aims to connect the two major cities of Dallas and Houston in Texas. With a planned speed of up to 240 miles per hour, the bullet train will greatly reduce travel time between the two cities, currently estimated at around four hours by car. The importance of high-speed rail in the United States cannot be overstated. As the country continues to grow and urbanize, there is a pressing need for efficient and sustainable transportation options that can alleviate congestion on roads and highways. High-speed rail not only provides a faster and more comfortable means of travel, but it also has significant environmental and economic benefits. In addition to reducing emissions and improving air quality, high-speed rail can also stimulate economic development by connecting cities and regions and providing new opportunities for businesses and communities. The Dallas-Houston bullet train is an important step towards realizing the potential of high-speed rail in the United States and will serve as a model for future projects. If you are liking this content so far and find it helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button. Click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get more great content from us. The history of high-speed rail in the United States dates back to the early 1900 with the development of steam-powered trains. These trains reached speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest forms of transportation at the time. However, it wasn't until the 1950s and 1960s that the concept of high-speed rail truly took off in the United States. The development of new technologies such as diesel electric engines and advanced signaling systems allowed trains to reach speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. The Japanese Tokaido Shinkansen, also known as the Bullet Train, is a high-speed railway system that has been in operation in Japan for over half a century. It is renowned for its speed, safety, and efficiency, and has become an important mode of transportation for both locals and tourists in Japan. The Tokaido Shinkansen currently connects Tokyo to Osaka, and plans are now underway in the United States for the Dallas-Houston Bullet Train. The route will run along the I-45 corridor, with a stop in Grimes County on Highway 30. The estimated travel time for Dallas-Houston bullet train is 90 minutes, significantly faster than driving or taking a commercial flight. This will make it an attractive transportation option for commuters and travelers alike. The Dallas to Houston bullet train is planned to have a variety of amenities for passengers to enjoy during their journey. Some of these amenities include comfortable seating with ample legroom, a dining car offering a selection of refreshments and meals, and a lounge area with seating and charging stations for electronic devices. The train will feature Wi-Fi access throughout the carriages, allowing passengers to stay connected and work or relax during their journey. There will also be a dedicated space for luggage storage, as well as restrooms and washrooms for passenger convenience. The planned Texan bullet train will offer a variety of entertainment options, such as onboard movies and music. There will also be a staff of trained professionals on hand to assist passengers with any needs or concerns they may have during the journey. In terms of environmental impact, the Dallas-Houston bullet train will reduce the amount of cars on the road, leading to less air pollution and fewer emissions. It will also provide a more efficient and sustainable transportation option, helping to combat climate change. The Dallas-Houston bullet train project has the potential to greatly improve transportation between the two cities, providing a faster and more convenient option for travelers while also benefiting the environment. 
The project is being funded through a combination of private and public sources. Private investors, including Japanese rail company Central Japan Railway, have contributed $75 million to the project. The Texas Department of Transportation has provided $15 million in funding for the project through the Texas Mobility Fund. The current timeline for the construction of the Dallas-Houston bullet train includes several phases. The first phase, which is happening now, is the planning and development phase. The second phase, which includes the construction of the rail line, is expected to be completed by 2026. The final phase, which includes the operation of the rail service, is expected to begin in 2027. The Dallas-Houston bullet train is a significant infrastructure project that will improve transportation options for residents and visitors in the region, but it has been a topic of debate among Texas residents and politicians for several years. Proponents of the train argue that it will provide a convenient and efficient mode of transportation between the two major cities, reducing congestion on highways and reducing carbon emissions. However, there are also several opposing viewpoints and arguments against the Dallas-Houston bullet train. One argument is that the cost of building and maintaining the train would be too expensive, with estimates ranging from $15 to $20 billion. Critics argue that this cost could be better spent on other infrastructure projects or social programs. Another argument against the train is that it would primarily benefit wealthy individuals and corporations while neglecting the needs of low-income communities. Critics argue that the train would primarily serve affluent commuters who can afford the high ticket prices, while low-income residents would continue to rely on public transportation or their own vehicles. Counter-arguments to these concerns include the potential economic benefits of the train, such as the creation of jobs during construction and the potential for increased tourism and economic development along the route. Supporters of the train argue that it would provide a more sustainable and environmentally friendly transportation option, reducing carbon emissions and improving air quality. In response to the concern about cost, supporters of the train argue that the initial investment would be offset by the long-term benefits and potential revenue from ticket sales. They also point to the potential for federal and private funding to help offset the cost of construction. Regarding the argument that the train would primarily benefit wealthy individuals, supporters argue that the train would provide a convenient and affordable transportation option for all residents, regardless of income. They also point to the potential for reduced traffic congestion and improved air quality as benefits that would be enjoyed by all residents, regardless of income. The debate surrounding the Dallas-Houston bullet train is complex and multifaceted, with valid arguments on both sides. While there are certainly concerns about cost and potential inequality, there are also compelling arguments in favor of the train as a sustainable and efficient transportation option. There is no doubt that the proposed Dallas-Houston bullet train has the potential to provide numerous benefits to the region. It would increase transportation options and reduce congestion on the roads, leading to improved mobility and accessibility for residents and visitors. It would also generate economic opportunities and create jobs during the construction and operation phases. The bullet train would have a positive impact on the environment by reducing carbon emissions and promoting sustainable transportation. What do you think about the Dallas-Houston bullet train? Tell us in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.